Oh, so I never made an intro, but I'm just going to say a couple of things about the video. So I just got back from studying abroad at the University of Sussex, and this is a tour of the room that I stayed in there. This is the first year that the university is using these rooms for the summer study abroad program, which is what I was doing. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this little room tour. It was a super cute room, and I loved staying there. Loved the whole university. Definitely recommend going there if you're studying abroad. And yeah, with that being said, let's just get into this. After entering the room and closing the door, this is the view. This is the door I came in from. This is a little view from the porthole. And then on the wall directly to the right, when you first come in, is four little hooks. I never used them in my time here, but they're pretty cool, I guess. I have my laundry basket, which I just bought at Primark, and I sadly could not take with me. So it is left in England right now, and I have my tripod. And then directly to the right of that is the closet area. Well, first there's this little important safety information poster. And then we have the actual closet. So this thing is like kind of like a wardrobe thing. It's pretty cool. A lot of room in there. And basically I have just stored all of my clothes and bags in here. So I folded up all my clothes because I did not bring any hangers. I have some bags, all my socks, underwear, sports bras and whatever, and shoes. And it also has a full length mirror so you don't even have to bring that. American universities could never. So yes, after I close this spacious wardrobe closet space and move to the right, we have the desk area. So this giant desk comes with built-in shelves, of which I keep my food. As you can tell, I'm stocked up with food. And above that, I keep all the books that I needed for class, as well as some of the books I just brought on the plane for fun. Above that, I keep all my empty bags and my medicine. And then next to that, some random papers and souvenirs that I'm bringing home. As you can see, all the train cards that I've used, I am definitely bringing back as souvenirs. And then beneath that is the actual desk area. So the university provides you with a lamp, very cool, bright, works well. And on the desk, I just put all my computer stuff, my final essay that I turned in, don't have the grade yet, but I think I did pretty well, let's hope. Next to that, I just keep my bag. This is my makeup bag and all of my hair tools and my hairbrush, deodorant, just normal things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. They're all right there. And then I also have my backpack on the chair. And the university also provides you with this little cabinet thing and a key. So I guess you can lock stuff in your room if you want to. I didn't use it, but it is pretty convenient and cool. Once again, the chair and my backpack. And then next to that, I also keep my trash can, which is provided by the university. So to the right of that is a bean bag that was provided by the university. It's pretty comfy actually, and it's really nice of them to provide that. To the right of that is the window. It's a pretty unique window if I do say so myself. There is no screens on the windows in England, so the left hand part of the window is completely open to the outside air, but there's really no mosquitoes or I haven't noticed any, so it's pretty nice. There's no air conditioning, so I pretty much keep this open all of the time to stay cool because it is summer. I have a pretty nice view of like a little sitting area in between one of the other apartments and my apartment. And I just love it. It's pretty nice. To the right of that is a blank wall with nothing on it. And then we have my bed. As you can see, it's a pretty good sized bed. I think it's either like a queen or something, a fool maybe, I don't know, but it's a pretty good sized for one person. Very nice, very comfortable. I have a little stitch eye mask, my panda. It's adorable, love that. And then above the bed is this huge storage area, which is very, very spacious. You can probably store a lot here, although I did not have much because I was only here for four weeks, but I had my headphones, some chapstick, lip care stuff, and then some water. And obviously my chargers are plugged in right there. I have some extra backup chargers and converters from American to the British converter charger thing. And then down here, there's another charging port where I charge my camera and my portable Wi-Fi. And then in between 
my bed and the wall. There's this little space where I keep my luggage. It fits perfectly. Love having all this space to store stuff in. And so anyway, on the wall next to that is this door which leads to the bathroom. So yes, I did have my own bathroom while I was here. It is pretty small, but it was enough room for one person. I liked it. So this is what an overview of it looks like. Everything's pretty cramped in, but it's fine. So the shower is really cool. It has this like folding door to save space. And I definitely somehow did not stain it purple with all the dyeing that I did of my hair. So that was fun. But yeah, I just keep my razor, conditioner, shampoo, and hair dye, and body wash, and whatever there. We have this giant mirror and sink where I keep my toothbrush, toothpaste, and then below that, I keep my contacts, glasses, contact solution, and then all my makeup on this cool little shelf. Beneath that is the sink, the toilet paper, the trash can, and the actual toilet which yeah works fine we love that this towel that i definitely stained purple with my hair dye it's okay all good and then they also have a little toilet cleaner so out of the bathroom that is pretty much it there's a little wall to the right of the bathroom where the heater is and that's pretty much all that's on the wall besides the light switch and that is my entire room so yeah, as you can see, it's not too big, but it's also not a bad size. It's pretty spacious for one person. I could definitely see myself living here for an entire school year comfortably. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this room tour. If you did, please click the like button and leave a comment down below letting me know how this room compares to your room or your dorm or wherever you're staying right now. And yeah, I hope you subscribe if you like my content and I will see you next time. Peace out.